for today's video is I'm going to show you my practice exercise on the operation of shock generator. So, on this scenario, uh, we only have DG1 and DG2 running and we need to start our shock generator. And as what you can see, uh, we only have uh, 37 RPM. So later on, we are going to increase our speed once we have already connected our clutch on our shaft generator. So in order to start the simulation, I'm going to click this one and click play. Now it's running, so just minimize. Then afterwards, let's go here on the shaft generator and then make sure the auxiliary power is on and then this uh, condenser you need to start then it's starting and then once running you can uh, proceed with the next step Now you can see that it's now running the condenser so you can proceed to the next step which is to open this valve for the air going to our clutch and then it's stating there ready. So by the way make sure that you have uh, less than uh, 300 rpm here so this is 250 which is okay so we can click connect on our clutch control. So now it's engaged and then the clutch is uh, still going in. So the clutch will be in once this is indicated here on our uh, lead. Okay, so now it's indicated here that the clutch is already in. So we can put this one on remote. Okay, and then Easy, easy, we're going to increase our RPM. Let's go here on the panel directory. So here, manage and control. Then as what I observed, uh, we can just transfer it to the bridge. Then let's accept it here so that we can just control it here on the bridge. Then easy, easy, we're going to increase our RPM. Okay. Easy, easy, increase our RPM. So in actual ship, we are really uh, uh, increasing the speed very slowly. But since this scenario and our time is limited, so that's why we are increasing it more uh, faster.
okay so actually we are already uh, on full ahead so we have uh, 64 rpm on our command but the R actual rpm is already uh, more than 60 so we can try to uh, connect our uh, shaft generator on our bus bar so let's try put it on voltage controller on then afterwards we are going to use this semi auto sensor scope click shaft generator and then once ready you can click connect Okay, our shaft generator is already connected and automatically our diesel generator number 2 is already disconnected and we are already finished using our semi auto scope so you can just unclick this shaft generator okay then let's monitor here on our rpm mm -hmm. So we're going to increase it is easy until we are going to reach here main engine rpm command uh, 74 and then here on the control lever you're going to uh, input 100 rpm okay. so while waiting, we can go here on the generator control and we can put our shaft generator on priority number one and then make this uh, diesel generator number one in priority number two and then make this diesel generator number two in priority number three. So now you can observe that our diesel generator number one is uh, transferring its load to shaft generator. And you can also notice that diesel generator, since it is on priority number three, automatically it will disconnect and automatically it will stop. Same also with our diesel generator number one, it will automatically uh, disconnect and automatically will stop. diesel generator number one is already disconnected so after a few minutes it will automatically stop as well go back here on our panel directory let's observe and let's increase the rpm until you are going to reach 100 rpm So easy easy it will uh, reach 74 rpm later on let's check here so if there are any alarms related with diesel generator on your simulator so you can just uh, acknowledge that one and